and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at a function called set register. If you don't know what a register is, it's just a dedicated uh, space of memory that holds a specific information. So for example, if we go and take a look at the Dynamics or data sheet, we can see that there are many registers. Uh, you can see that register 0 holds the model number. Register 1 holds the uh, also the model number. Third, the second register holds the firmware, the third one ID, and it goes on all the way to 49. We'll take a look at more of these registers in detail in the upcoming videos. But today I wanted to focus specifically on the third register, which is the ID of the Dynamixel. So in this video, we're going to change the ID of the Dynamixel motor using the set register function. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Arduino software. And let's go ahead and upload our library. And it's going to be the same library as before, which is the Bioloid library. Go ahead and uh, do your setup function. So void setup. And then your loop function. Okay, so here's the syntax for the set register function. So it's going to be AX12 set. Uh, Set red. Uh, I can't type today. Set register, and it's gonna take three parameters. The first one's gonna be the ID of your motor. So in my case, uh, my ID is gonna be number ten. And the second parameter takes in the register number. So remember that when we looked at uh, the ID is gonna be register number three. So we're gonna go ahead and put number three for the second parameter and the third one's gonna be uh, what ID you want to change it to so you're pretty much setting a value to that register so right now that register holds a value of 10 because our ID is 10 and we want to change it to let's say 2 so it's gonna change the ID so it's gonna replace the information and so instead of an ID of 10 it's gonna be 2 after this function so go ahead and close that out and let's go back to our void loop. So to test, uh, to make sure that the ID was successfully changed, we're going to go ahead and use the set position function, but we're going to put in our new ID to see if it changed. So let's go to set position two, and let's do position of zero. And then we'll delay it to two and a half seconds. And then we'll set position to two comma. Well, let's see if it'll work first. All right, so, so we'll set position. Uh, let's do to uh, halfway to 512. And then we'll delay it for another two and a half seconds. And then set position again to full position. And then we'll just delay it for uh, five, five seconds before. Uh, well, let's do four seconds before the next one. So let's go ahead and check our program. Alright, so here's how the program's gonna work. The set register will replace the information, so our ID of 10 to 2, and then the set position uh, will change our new motor with our new ID of 2 to the 0 position, 512 position, and then the 1023 position. So let's go ahead and upload our sketch and see what happens. Right, so you see that the set register function was successful and it changed it to ID number two, which is why 
the set position function works now.